So how much of a threat do you think Robert Kennedy Jr. is to Trump with regards to pulling away votes? He seems to be appealing to some people on the right or maybe neutral leaning people politically. What do you think about that? Let me be very candid. I think the vote for Robert Kennedy is a vote for Joe Biden. Uh, while it's hard to make a blanket statement across the entire country, if you look at the swing states, in the majority of the swing states, he is robbing votes from Donald Trump with no ability to win himself. Uh, he talks about health freedom. He talks about his opposition to the war in, in Ukraine. He talks about the border, but he never talks about his position in favor of abortion on demand or his radical climate change position in which he thinks those who disagree with climate change should be arrested. He never talks about reparation. So I think it is designed to pull votes uh, from Donald Trump uh, and therefore to benefit Joe Biden. Again, you can't make a blanket statement. That isn't true in every state. But as I look at polling, that is my overall impression. If you saw Robert Kennedy Jr. Uh, face to face, what would you say to him? I guess I would ask him why he chose a globalist whose wealth comes entirely from Internet censorship and information uh, manipulation on the Internet as his running mate. I mean, it's amazing how Nicole Shanahan went overnight from being a radical progressive who funded the defund the police movement in California to suddenly whining about Internet censorship, to which I say, speak to your ex-husband from whom you derive all of your wealth in a divorce. Maybe you should talk to him about that problem. So the Democrats have been trying to do a lot of things, as we have seen. But what do you think they're going to pull at the, uh, during the 11th hour of the election? Well, I mean, these people are capable of starting a war. Uh, again, Antony Blinken, who's as bad at guitar playing as he is statesmanship, uh, has already said that in September they intend to force NATO to accept Ukraine. Uh, that's a violation of the Budapest Memorandum, which we signed. Uh, it's a violation of the Minsk Accords. It's a violation of two different bilateral agreements that we have signed with the Russians. Uh, it's a provocation for war, and then, of course, Joe Biden would be a wartime president. Uh, I think they're entirely capable of that uh, and worse. Could we have another pandemic? Entirely possible. Uh, in all honesty, I also, I pray for the safety of President Trump. Uh, I wrote a New York Times best-selling book on the assassination of President John Kennedy. I, I, I sadly don't put it beyond those in power who seek to hold power and to fear, who fear prosecution for their previous crimes to do virtually anything to remain in power. I think it was Benny Thompson, the congressman, who uh, proposed legislation to pull Trump's Secret Service, presumably if he were to be put in jail for whatever reason. Um, what do you, what's your reaction to that? Like, that's, is that a death well, threat, basically? I mean, first of all, I, I, having been through the D.C. judicial meat grinder myself and finding out the hard way that the, convent, the Constitution doesn't matter the facts don't matter, the rules don't matter, the evidence doesn't matter. Uh, I'm very apprehensive about the president's sentencing on July 11th. Uh, the, the legislation by Congressman Thompson is mean-spirited. It makes it very clear uh, that they would be very happy uh, if Donald Trump were to die. Yet if we said something like that about Joe Biden, who, candidly, I only wish the best, he should retire to his golden years. Uh, so I, I'm, I, I thought that that was disgusting, uh, but I thought it was also naked in terms of the purpose. Do you think Joe Biden's going to drop out of the 2024 election? Well, if you went to the Turning Point event in Palm Beach, which was a great, great event, I predicted in my remarks uh, that shortly before the convention, uh, the Democrats would recognize that Joe Biden is just not capable of getting through uh, a, another campaign. If anything, things are worse now than they were then. He's non compus mentis, it's quite obvious. The epic corruption of his family, including his son, his brother, and others is now manifest. Everyone can see it. So I think the chances are greater than they have ever been before uh, that Joe Biden will be replaced, that shortly before the convention, he will announce his decision not to resign, but to not run again. Uh, he will throw it open to the convention, and I still believe that the convention will draft Michelle Obama. Now, I haven't said Michelle Obama is running for president or wants to run for president, but I think the Democrats may persuade her 
that she could be their last best chance to stop Donald Trump's return to the White House. Uh, so I'll stick by my prediction and we'll see. What do you think getting justice for what the Democrats have done to Trump, what do you think that should look like? Should we start looking into why Nancy Pelosi is so good at stock trading? I mean, we need, we need to have equal protection under the law. So this whole Democrat media cabal revenge thing is no. Uh, as someone who was convicted of lying to Congress when there was nothing to lie about, when there was no underlying crime that would motivate me to lie, uh, I, I look at uh, Hillary Clinton who lied to Congress, James Comey who lied to Congress, John Brennan who lied to Congress, Andrew McCabe who lied to Congress, and they lied to Congress regarding material matters, important matters. Again, the two-tier justice system. Why should Steve Bannon go to prison for, for denying a, a, a congressional subpoena, but it's perfectly all right when Merrick Garland does it? It's the two-tier justice system. So no, we're not looking for revenge. What we're looking for is equal protection under the law. And those who have broken the law, those who engaged in treasonous activities, such as the Russian collusion hoax, yes, I do think that they should be prosecuted. That's not revenge, that's justice.